Okay, here we go. This is highway collision. Oh, the highway traffic accident. All right, here we go. We have three vehicles involved here. This one in front of us. All right, we've got to put our flashers on. I don't know why he shuts his lights off. That is ridiculous. Keep your lights on. Even keep your car running. Okay, let's call. Hey, where's my flashlight? What the heck? Why isn't it on? Oh, how about if I turn it on? I can't turn it on while I'm making a phone call. Now I can. Wait for that car to pass by because that's the killer. It always hits you if you get out too soon. Now you can get out, do whatever you need to do. One thing for sure I always get is my uh, first aid kit. I always hold on to that. Oh, wrong one. And uh, put that down. Get your fire extinguisher because you're going to need that. Let me close this door. Actually, leave it open because I need to get back in there. Because we're going to need to smash the windows of... Uh, open this trunk because we're going to need those reflectors in there at some point. Hello, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm here to help you. Shut off her ignition. I'll be right back, ma'am. I got other people to attend to here. You got to get through this one first. Check the door. And, of course, it's not... It won't open. It's jammed or whatever. So you got to break the window with the fire extinguisher. Now you can open or unlock the door. Open this. Go over to this car. Check it. It's going to be jammed. Stuck, so you can't get it. So now you got to go back over here and get the lug wrench. Go pry open that door. Now you can shut the ignition off there and over here. Boom. Now we got to mark the location. We got to go back and get the. You don't have to worry about cars coming anymore um, because I don't. Uh, I haven't seen any cars coming through uh, as I did this scenario earlier, but I kept failing. So now I'm trying to move a bit faster because now I know pretty much what to do for the most part. Um, I haven't successfully completed it all the way, so uh, there is a point where I'm going to get to where I can't um, figure something out. And who knows if I'll fail again or I'll, we'll succeed. Only time will tell. So we're going to mark the location. Then we got to go and check on our, our uh, casualties. Now, she's okay. Uh, she, she, there's nothing, oh, she's still conscious. So what we want to do, see, she's okay. Uh, what? Oh, that's my car. <laughs> what the hell was going to say? Where did she go? She walked away. So, okay, so here we go. She's inspect, um, okay. Victim is conscious, right? So, yeah, so that's all for her. Come to this guy. You go either one. I, I, okay, wake up, check the airway. Check if he's breathing, he's not breathing. Okay, he has wounds here, here, and on his arms, or his arm. Okay, run over to this other guy, check him, hello, wake up, check his seatbelt, take it off, okay, now you could uh, clear his airway so you can uh, check his breathing, he's breathing, very good, he has a bruise on his forehead, and I think that's it, check for the nearest uh, kilometer marker, which is over here. That'll save you a lot of time. Okay, now help the victims. So let's see, she, she's okay, so you gotta go help this guy first. Uh, or the truck driver, whoever. Uh, trapped by the seat, take the seatbelt off, pull them out, start your first aid on him. Okay, there we go, put your gloves on. It becomes routine after a while. Uh, clear the airway, put the mask on. Okay, oh, uh, go ahead and put the mask on. Go ahead and CPR him. Aye, aye. Okay, let's do this.
Okay. Check the airway. Oh no, it's giving some breath. Oh, it stopped too short, damn it. That doesn't usually happen to me. I usually get it pretty good. Okay. All right. Oh, so we did good uh, so far. We we, we uh, took out the proper person to work on. If we would have went to the driver and the, the van, we would have wasted some time. All right, so now here we go. Now we could discover some clues. That's irrelevant. Uh, the good thing about this part of of the scenario is it, you you could take time. You don't have to rush through a lot of this skid marks uh, because um, impact. So it doesn't uh, like say you fail, which is good. Impact point. Wow, we have seven. We got to find. Uh, okay, there's seven clues. Pretty neat, huh? You see the patrol car, the ambulance. Oh, what does it say? Uh, Galat. Okay, so yeah, so you could you could take your time going through this this stuff. Try to uh, investigate properly. See if there's anything else on this vehicle that'll give us a s yep body scratches. There's a clue right there. There's four. That's irrelevant. Okay. So let's go over to the other side. See what we find on this side. Oh, well, they took the lady. That's irrelevant. There's an impact point. So that's relevant. There's five. Sometimes it's uh, hard to find these things. Uh, because they're, no, oh, that's irrelevant. So you would have thought, oh, skid marks. Let me see if it pulls up the skid marks as, as, uh, as a clue. All right, skid mark. Are these skid Wow, well, this skid mark goes, well, it's not a skid mark. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. That's a long skid mark. She loses control there. Six. Okay, one more. Oh, it, could this be it? It's insufficient. Doggone it. I was going to say, outstanding. We finally successfully did... Oh, maybe the... Oh, here? <clears throat> yeah. I think this debris right here. Look. Yep. All this debris or skin marks. More clues. There it is. Okay, we got all our clues in. Nice. Very nice. That's a long way off because it's raining. The skid is very long. Hey, where's my car? Okay. There it is. Phew. All right, let's uh, let's piece this thing together now. Okay. So just just so that you know, in case you haven't played this uh, before, you a little easy way or a cheat way is to grab one, put it in. If you don't hear a drum sound and see these arrows advance in in complete color, they color in then it's not correct. If you don't hear no sound or these coloring in, then you have to find another clue to place it in that slot. See how this colored in right there? That's the way these will color in. So you uh, that's one way to cheat. You could just grab, nope, that, not that. But always make sure when you grab this, you put it in the back over here because then the others will move forward. And then you grab the next one, check it. If it doesn't go into number one, make a sound and this color in, then... Uh, you just keep going to the next one, the next one. That's one, that's a, you know, a little hack or a, cheek, a cheating way to do it. Uh, you can take the time to read these things. Uh, Daniel stops in the middle of oncoming lanes. Uh, the van collides with the sports car. The sports car collides with the bridge sport. Daniel's car collides with the with Barbara's. The car drives into the barrier and stops at the support. Barbara Neems uh, loses control of her car, uh, and he loses. Her. So it's you got to pick which one is the one losing control first. So let's go with uh, Danielle first. See if that works. Okay. See how they didn't advance right here. So that's not the correct one. How about her? 
Nope, not her either. Okay, well, it has to be one or the other. Uh, let me check. Okay. I just want to make sure, because maybe the arrows don't advance until you put the second uh, clue in there. I believe that's what it is. Uh, you have to put the second clue for you, for you to see. Okay, so the drums uh, sounded, so that is the correct one. And I, I guess it uh, they'll color in as soon as you put the second correct one in. What? You would think that would be it. Okay, so that's the correct one. Uh, stop the middle. Of the road. Nope. Okay. Now I'm just guessing here. I'm showing you what I mean of how to just pick and and see. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So once you get the second one in the second uh, clue in the second slot correct, then they'll start hiding highlighting in. So this made a sound as well. So if we could find number four. Uh, Clyde's with Bridge Sport, maybe? No, okay. Uh, Clyde's with Sports Car? Nope. All right. Well, we're wrong all the way around, ain't we? Nope. It was the first one I should have picked. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's advance it. All right, so if uh, the car hit the barrier and stops at the support, so let's see then. Okay. Yep, that should be next. Uh, Clyde's with Bridge Sport, okay. Uh, the van collides, yep, I think this is it. No? Okay, goodness, I'm wrong. Why? Why? Okay. Stops in the middle of the uh, oncoming lanes, and then finally we have this. There you go. See? So that proves that my theory of how this works uh, is correct, because you have a finished scenario scene now. So you go back, and uh, once again, like I mentioned, once you put the first one in, you hear the drums. It won't color in yet until you put the second one in correctly with the sounds of the drums then if you see the arrows highlighted that means you're correct you're you're moving in the right direction and just keep doing that uh, consecutively to the next one and the next one okay so that's it we got well let's let's read let's see what happened i mean let's read there's going to be a video showing us how the whole accident happened but we'll we'll just read our clues because we took time to collect them so daniel kapalx loses control of his car Daniel's car collides with the uh, bear, Barbara's car. Barbara Neems loses control of her car. And then uh, the car drives into the barrier and stops at the support. The sports car collides with the bridge support. Daniel stops in the middle of oncoming lanes. And then the van collides with the sports car. So that's how it all occurred per our clues because we took time. Now let's finish the scenario. It'll say... It'll give us uh, the outcome of each of the uh, casualties in these collision in this collision. So I'm happy we succeeded. So Daniel Kapalx, thanks to your decisive action, Daniel was quickly taken to the hospital. Unfortunately, his injuries were too severe, and he died the next day. Oh, that's sad. Christopher, when Christopher Vans collided with the sports car, his seatbelt was too loose and he hit his head on the steering wheel, which caused him to lose consciousness. Although he regained it about an hour later in the hospital for the next six months, he suffered from frequent headaches. Fortunately, there were no lingering consequences of the accident and he returned to work soon after being released. Okay, very good. Hopefully he stays okay. All right, so that's uh, Christopher. How about Barbara? Barbara, despite bleeding uh, copiously, the wound on Barbara's forehead was only superficial. After spending one night at the hospital, she was allowed to return home, and she's alive. Good for her. Well, there you go. All three uh, casualties. Uh, unfortunately, we had one fatality, but it was a successful scenario. We finished it, and uh, let's see what happened. So there you go. There it is right there. Well, thank you for uh, stopping by and checking out my video on this simulation game called Accident. Um, I will be stopping the recording so we can continue with the next one. 
uh, which is going to be, I'm going to give you a preview of what it will be, so if you want to tune in for the next video, it's going to be distractions in Poland, okay? And we're going to have one, two, three casualties, okay? So the one we just completed was Highway Disasters. Once again, thank you for watching, everybody, and um, hit that like button if you like the video, and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, so you can check out the rest of my content, and sm smack that bell if you want to receive notifications for when I do post some new content on my page, which is pretty consecutive. You know, right now I, I downloaded two simulators, if not three, and I've been uh, intensely playing them and involved with them. So I've been recording and posting content a lot. So once again, thank you for stopping by and watching my channel. Uh, please stay safe and healthy out there. And take care of yourself and everyone else. Until next time, everybody. Peace out.